Nathan Fretchung, and we are back. Um, we're going to be digging into one of my favorite effects today, and that is the uni vibe. Um, there's loads on my channel. If you go back, there's a playlist that takes you through all different units. Um, one question that I'm sure others and I get a lot is, what's your favorite uni vibe? Um, this is a question I think is really personal and can't really be answered, which got me thinking, that kind of question has got me thinking to, you know, what makes us hear things differently? And I think the one thing that hasn't really been addressed on any of the videos that I've seen is, is the amp. You know, all right, so you can pay out and you can get a unique vibe or, you know, these big, big hitters and you take it back and it don't sound too great. Well, it led me to think a lot of it is in the amp. A lot of the tone that we really want to hear from Univibe comes from Hendrix, really. And um, he was playing through a Marshall. So I thought this would be a good video. Um, to get a regular Univibe and just put it through a Fender Blackface style amp and put it through a Marshall and hear the difference. To me, the difference is massive. Um, bearing in mind the Blackface amp I've got is a vibroverb that has no mids, so I can't push the mids. I've got a fixed mid resistor on that, if I'm correct. Whereas on the Marshall, I can kind of ramp those mids. Um, so I'm going to get these two amps as close as I can um, in terms of volumes and EQ. And I'm going to put the same Univibe on the record with the same mic and get everything as close as I can within my environment and show you the difference that your Univibe can sound trying it for a different amp, you know? Um, I've had many Univibes in the past that I've written off as junk um, and I've even bought some back and tried in a different amp and they've, they've come alive. So bear in mind, it is worth thinking about Univibe where it was built and what amp it was built through, if that makes sense. You know, if these guys ain't cloning it and they're making their own kind of thing, you you, you really kind of want to know what amp they're building through to test their, their products. And then you know that you're going to be, in, you're going to get the same kind of sound that they're showcasing, you know? Um, I just thought this was a bit of food for thought and be a quite a nice topic. So I'm going to play through the Vibroverb, I'm going to play through the Marshall Studio Vintage and, um, we're going to get stuck in. It's Richie from Fred Chuggies. Thanks for being here. Peace.
Thank you.